Today I would like to show you how to create your own custom tires out of a two-part silicone. First we'll need a mold. With this mold we're going to put it together and using clamps or rubber bands we're going to hold it all together. Next we'll grab our two-part silicone and using a small scale we can measure out 50 grams of each part for a total of 100 grams. I like doing it this way. You can also um, just measure by volume if your uh, mixing cup has volume measurements. I just find that I'm able to be more accurate when I use a scale. So we want 100 grams for the mold that we are working with right now. We also want to use some mica powder or some dye so that we can color our silicone to be more of a black tire color. This uh, silicone that I'm using is clear without the color. We want to make sure to get this mixed really well. We want everything to be able to set up properly and to do that we need to make sure that it is mixed very very well so I go at least four or five minutes and then I let it sit you gotta let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes so that all these air bubbles will come out because we don't want air bubbles in our tire so just let it sit no longer mixing it um, for 15 to 20 minutes once it's down to looking like this, where it's just tiny little bubbles that are popping, at that point we can now start pouring it into our mold. We want to pour nice and slowly so that the silicone is able to spread out inside the mold evenly, and this also helps any of those little air bubbles that are still trapped in there they will be able to come to the surface as we pour this in slowly. So just taking our time, we're going to pour it in. I want to say it takes me probably six to eight minutes of pouring to uh, fill the mold. You could probably go a little faster, but I don't want any air bubbles on the side of my tire, so I go pretty slow. And then we're going to watch for these air vents and you'll know that your mold is full when you start to get a little bit of silicone to come out of each of those vents. If one of those vents doesn't have silicone coming out of it, you still have an air pocket in there and you need to keep slowly adding a bubble on top here of silicone so that it can push down so that we don't have any air bubbles inside. And you should have very little left in the cup. Uh, that 100 grams works out to be right for uh, for this mold. So now I've given it probably eight hours to cure. I think it says it can cure faster than that, but I like to give it plenty of time. But we wait until it's all cured, and then we can take those clamps off, and we can start to take our mold apart. Now it's usually held together pretty solid, so I grab this uh, screwdriver, and you can use whatever you want to try and pry this mold apart. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of pressure and then we'll move to the next tabs over. We'll do a little bit of pressure and we're going to continue doing that all the way around, slowly getting everything to pop loose. As you work around, you're going to hear things coming loose and the mold will start to slowly separate. You can see that we're getting a bigger gap now. And so we're just going to continue to do that as things work loose until we're able to get a hold of it and pull it apart the rest of the way. So here you see I can now get a hold of it and I can pull the top part off. So now using my fingertips I'm going to grab the edge of the tire there and now try to pull it out of that other half of the mold. Now we just need to pinch off all of the flashing from our seam so that we can clean up the outside edge of the tire and then 
using a razor blade we will then cut the plug out of the middle of the tire. We also can use some little side cutters to cut off the little vent bits that are poking out from those vent holes that we had. So here with the razor blade we're going to cut that plug off and you don't need a lot of pressure just a gentle back and forth motion and it'll, it'll go through it. Just be careful don't uh, cut yourself. You can peel off any of that flashing on the inside if you'd like and then your tire is ready to go on its rim. I'm really happy with the result of this. The tire has an excellent feel. Um, it's got just the right amount of squish. It's got a lot of grip. I think it's uh, much better than the store-bought tires for grip. And uh, it's also a little bit bouncy, which uh, I feel is, uh, is really nice. So check the links in the description for the models for the molds. I'll have multiple molds available. Um, as well as the tire files if you'd prefer to just print the tire in TPU. But you'll get a much better tire if you uh, make it out of the mold. I hope you enjoy.